Okay, so um, this is where we left off last time, and you can see that we have some issues with uh, styling here, and that is these lines are all looking kind of ugly. And the problem is we have a one pixel border uh, from section, and we have a one pixel border from uh, the navigation uh, uh, A tag here. So that dump makes it a two pixel one. Um, and so every time we have one of these blocks, it gets ugly, but we don't have a, a two pixel one for this navigation. So that uh, causes a problem. We actually have three pixels over here. We have a pixel here, a pixel there. Then we have a pixel here, a pixel with navigation, a pixel there. And then between here, we have two pixels also, because we have a bottom and a top. So what we want to do is we want to say, well, this one's fine, and this one's fine, but get rid of all these in the middle. So we're going to go in and uh, fix most of it first. So let's go back into our styles. And what we really wanted, instead of having nav A having a one pixel black border, we really wanted just to have the bottom. And then only one side instead of top and bottom, just the bottom well. So let's do file and save. And then let's go ahead and refresh our page and see if it fixes anything. Well now, it fixes everything. Everything looks much nicer except we're missing a line right here. So we, we want the bottom for all of them except for this first A tag here. So let's go back to our um, code and see how we can fix that. And how we're going to fix it is with something called pseudo uh, classes. And if we take a look, these are them right here. So these are all the different kind of pseudo classes. And these pseudo classes actually allow us to be able to find as specific elements. Um, so like first child would be the first one and then the last child. First time we find, say, an A tag, and or the last time an A tag shows up, or a picture, or an image tag, perhaps, if we want to just format the final image on a page. Uh, or find one where there's only one um, of the one thing that has a child, or some have more than one child. So there's lots of different combinations we can do. We want to take a look at the first uh, anchor tag, so we want to use first child here. So let's go back and use this pseudo class in our code. So if I come back here, what we want to say is, well, do this navigation on all of them, but on the first one have an additional border. So we'll do uh, nav a colon first dash, whoops, first dash child, and then that one will have a border top of one pixel solid black. Oops, black, black. All right, and then we'll do file and save and see if that has fixed everything. Okay, so we want this first child to have a top border. So we'll go ahead and refresh it, and, oh, ugly. So this stayed nice, um, but we ended up with these two pixels again. So why did that happen? So if we take a look at our HTML, we can see that, okay, well, this is the first A. This is what I wanted to do. The thing is, this is the first child of the LI tag. And this is the first child of the LI tag. And this is the first child of the LI tag. What we want to say is the first... LI child, so the first child of the UL, that's what we want to look for. Uh, and then just do this one A tag. So let's go back and see how we can do that. Whoops, let's go into our styles. And instead of saying um, the first A tag, I want to say the first line tag. And then of that first child uh, LI, I want to style the anchor tag that's within it. So it's going to go into nav, then the first child li tag within that nav, and then border the a tag within it. So we're going to have two or three a tags in it if we you know, style it that way. Let's do file and save and see if that has fixed our stuff. All right, so let's go back and refresh. All right, so now everything's looking pretty nice. All right, so we, we do have another problem, though. If I right-mouse-click and I inspect this element, and I go down to the bottom, 
you see there's our footer and this is our section so if I click on the section and you can see 5 756 that worked and made everything nice and pretty last time but look what happens when I make the section even smaller as I go down up oh, footer disappeared so where did the footer go so let's go ahead and make it smaller again so I can oh my gosh this take forever okay here it comes all right so there is the section and our footer has disappeared so where did it go so if we actually look up here there it is it's up there what happened is um, this is a uh, block element but these are block elements too but remember we told them to float so when they float they don't exist as far as the other block elements are concerned so when this thing became small enough so that the footer and that it was the size of F-O-T-T-E-R once it got enough to be able to fit the content of this element the element moved up and took it took the space because as far as it's concerned this is how big the container is so what we want to do is we don't want this thing floating so we're going to have to go ahead and fix that so let's go ahead and close this and refresh all right, let's go back to our HTML and see how we fix that. And we do that within our styles. What we want to do is go down to the footer style here, and we want to go ahead and do a clear both. And actually, we can clear the left, uh, and that will work. Uh, because, But what we usually do is clear both just to make sure that later on we do a little bit of... Uh, changing to our thing we always want that footer to be by itself on its own line clear across the page so clear both means that if we end up adding something to the bottom it won't hose up our style so let's do file and save and let's go ahead and refresh and let's take a look at our there's our footer now and then we'll go ahead and refresh and now our footer is bigger it was actually kind of small before because some of it was being dragged up all right, so now it doesn't make a difference if I right mouse click and I uh, inspect that element and then inspect the footer. Nope, inspect the section and then change this and go all the way down as fast as I can. Um, it won't do anything to my footer. So this is pretty, pretty small. Now, because it cleared, it, the block element says, okay, well, if these are now block elements because I've cleared the float then this is always going to stay on the bottom all right well that's it for this lesson uh, next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our home page and we're off